Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Acklin from Boston Health Chiang Mai, and we're going to talk about testosterone testing and treatment. Now, you may have heard about low T, but let's go over why you should be interested in what your testosterone levels are. Why test for them? Well, hormone testing helps us understand what's going on inside your body at the cellular level. Testosterone plays a vital role in reproductive health, fitness, sex drive, and even your mood. Testing for this hormone and others can help diagnose the condition of low testosterone, also known as low T. Now, it's been well documented that testosterone levels have been falling over the last several decades. And I'm not talking about falling levels as you age. In simple terms, 30 year old male today has about 25% lower testosterone than a 30 year old male 25 years ago. In simple terms, your father, when he was 30 years old, had much higher testosterone levels than you do at the same age of 30. And it's true of every age group. It's been reported by multiple countries and labs all over the world. This is an established fact in medicine, not a controversy, and it's a big problem. What are the causes of these falling testosterone levels? Personally, I think it's probably a combination of several factors. And here's some of the more interesting theories that you can think about. Microplastics, environmental factors, environmental chemicals. Read a cereal box. You don't think you have exposure to chemicals? The food industry has 262 different names for sugar, which will then segue into the next possible cause, obesity because fat cells produce estrogen, not good for testosterone. The next concept is epigenetics. Old school teaching was your DNA and your genes dictated the way your body and the cells behaved. You were programmed a certain way and that was it. Epigenetics takes into account that the environment can have an effect on your body so that it can express itself differently depending on the environment. One of the possible ways this is done is because of the fact that fewer women are ovulating due to the birth control pill. 65% of women age 15 to 49 are using some form of contraception. Well, does ovulation affect male behavior? We don't need to be deeply scientific about this. Go talk to a farmer. He'll tell you everything you need to know about that with animal behavior. Whenever there's lots of different explanations for something, it usually means nobody knows the real answer. What are the symptoms of low T? Low sex drive, low energy, just less drive in general. If you go to the gym and work out, your workouts are poor. You have a longer recovery period to get over your last workout. Your sleep can be affected and we know how important sleep is for good health. It can also lead to depression and erectile dysfunction. 40% of men age 40 have erectile dysfunction. That's concerning. The first thing to do is to do the investigations, lab tests, and a careful history. The lab test should be done in the morning because that's when testosterone is at its highest. You should be tested before and after treatment at a consistent time in the morning. You're tested for total versus free testosterone and SHBG, which is sex hormone binding globulin, albumin. And you test for those because the only testosterone that really has any effect in your body is free testosterone. The next thing to consider is what is the level at which you should say, well, below this number, you have low T. And the problem with that is the bell curve, and you know what a bell curve is, there's really low and then it goes up and somewhere up here is the 50th percentile dead in the middle, and then it drops back down again. Well, the problem is over the last 30 years, that 50th percentile, the bell curve is shifted to the left for everybody. So the levels now are not the same as the levels before. So it's harder to make good comparisons. You have to combine the clinical situation along with the lab test and look at both of them together. There are experts who feel that testosterone does not decline so much with age, but rather with accumulation of body damage. Unfortunately, low T will result in a lower birth rates, low sperm count, and this should be looked at and treated. Once you know your baseline, then we'll know which treatments would be best suited for you.
In general, men will need medication for low T if they do indeed have low testosterone levels. We do not recommend oral medications, and there's a number of reasons for this, including everything from poor absorption to increased risk for liver toxicity. The two most common and effective ways to deliver testosterone treatment are either gel or cream, and the other way is injections. Afterwards, you check the efficacy or results by checking the symptoms and checking for a repeat blood test. If you don't get a follow-up blood test after you start treatment, well, that's kind of like getting prescribed a blood pressure pill and then never checking your blood pressure again. That's just plain stupid. What should you expect? more energy, better sex, better workouts, you sleep better, less visceral fat, the bad fat around your abdomen. You will probably develop a better attitude towards life in general. Anyone who talks about treating you, however, should also talk to you about risks. There is no evidence whatsoever that there's an increased risk of prostate cancer, so you do not have to worry about that. There's also no evidence that it is adverse to your heart or cardiovascular system. It's been proposed and it might be even slightly protective, but that has not been definitively proven. The most serious side effect would come in younger men who think that in the future, they might want to have a family because once you start testosterone therapy and you're on it for a period of time, sperm production drops and may not come back. That's not a problem with an older person who has no intention of wanting children, but obviously a young man has to take this into consideration. Proper testing and supervised treatment for low testosterone can change your entire outlook on life and completely improve it in almost every respect. We post this on the internet, but take great care listening and reading about medical treatments on the internet. Check out your doctors and realize that ultimately you should do an in-person consultation and make decisions together with your healthcare provider. Remember, knowledge is power. If you're experiencing symptoms or simply want to take a proactive approach to your health, consider discussing hormone testing with your doctor. The more you know about your body, the better you can move forward towards a healthier and longer life. It's not just about living longer, it's also about living better.